What's up everybody, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, it's Monday, day 16. Um, hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving, um, or whatever you had you know, before you watch this video. Um, so, really cold today, 29 degrees. Sent my guys, you know, over to the shop and everything. I had to take the kids to school. Um, I went ahead and just had them do some work in the shop, unload one of the trailers. Um, basically kill time for an hour, get some stuff done for me, and, um, and then head to the job. By that time, it'll be a little bit warmer. Job's about 45 minutes away, um, so they've got that drive time built in there as well to allow it to heat up. Um, <clears throat> but again, cold weather, you gotta, you gotta find something to do, and I'm certainly, I'm not gonna cancel better cleaning your house washing just because it's pretty cold right now. Um, Again, we work year round as much as possible. Um, I think we've got eight or nine jobs scheduled for this week, so we'll stay busy. Um, <clears throat> one of the other things I ended up doing this morning, though, is I had to take my daughter, my oldest, to the orthodontist. Um, and I would be willing to bet that if you went into your orthodontist, I'm not your dentist, but your orthodontist, you would see all the different social media, um, you know, recommend us, like us on Facebook, share, win this, here's a contest, tell your friends about us, earn points uh, for doing all these things, um, yada yada. And the reason being, guys, and if you want to see, you know, companies that are doing it right and getting social media, Go to your orthodontist. We, we've got, I don't know, three or five. Actually, well, I only really know about three different orthodontists in town. Those are the only ones that my friends recommended when I asked them on Facebook. Which, surprise, these companies know that that's where people are looking. They're looking on Facebook. They're asking their friends. You know, back in the day, people would just, you know, I don't know, I can't deal with that something. Whatever. Um, people would just, you know, just ask their friends, you know, in the neighborhood or whatever, or at school or stuff. Nowadays, it's social media. You know, hey guys, I'm looking at it. it's about time to get braces for for Johnny or whatever. Um, who who did you guys use? You know, and and a lot of it. I mean, uh, price wise, they were fairly close. I mean, both of the two that we went to and, and had consultations at were great. Both of them had a huge a huge amount of money aimed towards social media because again for them offering a contest for a you know a four hundred dollar gift basket or the kids winning a twenty dollar coupon to you know johnny burger or whatever um, gets them excited and it motivates them to do you know such little things that can turn into a four to six thousand dollar customer um, now I know a lot of times with house washing we don't have uh, that big of a job, but also you got to figure too that a four or six thousand um, dollar orthodontist treatment, you know, you're going in twenty times, you've got all that other stuff. So it's you know when you want to look at what we make in a single visit, it's worth it. But again, they're doing all these different things. You know, my Seth, you say hi, bud. Hi, hi, hi. He, um, he loves going to the orthodontist because they've got, you know, a little game station that he can play on. Um, it's not like a Sega or, or PlayStation or anything like that. But um, And they've got all these cars and toys and stuff. So he, he takes his tractor out and then manages to get every single other vehicle slash toy and line it up behind himself. I take a picture. They decide to take a picture because it's so cute. All the all the whole office is having fun seeing him do this, um, and so that's going up on social media. So I've already shared and tagged them, and again, it, it's all about just hinting at that. Hey, um, you know, why don't you share this? You know, why don't why don't you tag us in a post that you're here or whatever? And it, you know, oh yes, super exciting. We're at the orthodontist. Um, but I bet that they'll get, you know, they, they can easily just throw that. It, it's one of those engagement pieces. Um, you know, people are going to see my son looking adorable with like 30 little cars and things behind him going from the big John Deere tractor all the way down to 
um, these little carts and, and I think somewhere in there there was a dinosaur and some other wagons and things. It's just hilarious. He loves to do that at home. But that's something just simple. It doesn't have anything to do with teeth other than that that's what we were doing. And it shows to a potential customer. Sorry, going over a bridge. Um, by the way, I, I did try and find a new mount. Um, yeah, it was garbage. So I got to gotta go back on Amazon and find something better. Um, but it's an engagement post. It's going to get people to see this. They're going to interact and hopefully they like it and say, hey, you know, this is kind of cool. You know, when I have to take my kids, which, you know, I, I don't know what the stats are, but I would say the majority of people have more than one kid. Um, you know, that's a big concern for moms. What is my child going to do while, you know, their older sibling is getting their braces done? You know, if they're not already in school. So, I mean, that that's a big thing. That's knowing your target audience it's knowing where they're going to look for you. It's knowing what, what kind of things are they looking for. And then they can retarget the people who like that, um, get more exposure, um, and all kinds of stuff. So again, it, it, it's all about seeing where is my customer going to find me? Who do I want? You know, who's the person? And yes, the decision maker, or at least the, the person who's going to help influence the decision the most is the wife. Plain and simple. She's more likely going to be the person who's going to take the kids there, who's going to um, have more interaction. And my wife's the one who sold me on them. I was kind of in favor of another doctor because I'd actually done power washing for him. Um, but my wife had interacted with the other one more and, you know, just liked his overall rapport, manner, and everything. And so he got our business. Um, and I'm sure they're not surprised about that. You know, that that's just doing good business and understanding what your, you know, what's your end goal. If you know what you're aiming for, it's a lot easier to hit that target. So anyways, guys, um, check out your local orthodontist, notice what's going on, or even just around town, you'll see other businesses that are just killing it and just get it as far as social media is concerned. So have a great day.